Ahoy there, outmates, and welcome to Anything Under the Sun! For this episode, we are going to do our very first airsoft review. And what we are going to review for today is a revolver type airsoft pistol powered by CO2. And of course, this is made by Wingun. The Wingun revolver series are apart from most traditional airsoft revolvers when it comes to constructions, durability, and performance. By the way, this is the WG703 revolver in silver, which is also available in black. Of course, we have the manual, and this is written in different languages. But we don't need this anymore because I'm here to tell you all about it. So let's just put this aside. We have this bunch of low-grade BBs that are 0.2 grams in weight. And I don't really recommend using it because it might damage the inner barrel of your airsoft. So let's just put this aside as well. We also have this rail that can be attached on top of your pistol and you can mount your choice of red dots on it. But I don't really use this, so let's put it aside as well. This small Allen key right here will be used to attach this rail on top of your pistol. We also have this speed loader for you to quickly reload your pistol and we'll discuss this more later. Also included are six metal shells and I'll tell you more about it later. And of course, the main attraction, the pistol itself. See how handsome and shiny this pistol is? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So let's put this aside. Now let's talk about the parts. This is the muzzle and on top is the front sight. This front sight that has a red dot corresponds to the rear sight. The barrel of this pistol is 8 inches long. The elevation and the windage of the rear sight is adjustable. This is the hammer and once you pull it, the gun is now ready to shoot in single action. Below the hammer is your cylinder release. Sliding it to the right puts the gun on safe mode, preventing you from cocking the gun or pulling the trigger. Sliding it a bit to the left puts the gun on firing mode. Sliding it all the way to the left releases the cylinder. Just push the cylinder from the right side of the gun and there you can now reload the gun. This part is called the ejector rod. This one is the trigger and this is the trigger guard. The grip of this pistol is polymer and is very durable. The entire frame and the bull barrel of this revolver is constructed of metal detailed design and finished to perfection. The wing gun logo can be seen on both sides of the grip. On the right side of the gun are markings and you can also see the serial number. Markings are also visible on both sides of the barrel. The full metal constructed cylinder flips out to the left of the gun for shell loading, simulating maximum realism of an airsoft revolver. The power source of this gun is CO2. This is a Puff Dino 12 gram CO2 cartridge. To load the cylinder into the gun, we just need to pull this grip. There, so there, there is where we need to put the cylinder in. I have already installed a cylinder inside the grip, but let's just pretend that there's no cylinder installed yet. The first thing that we need to do is to spray some silicon oil on top of the cartridge to prevent the CO2 from spilling once we install it into the gun. 
simply insert the cartridge and slowly twist this little knob right here until you hear a short hissing sound. Now close the grip, pull down the hammer, and you're ready to shoot. To remove an empty cartridge, you just need to open the grip, rotate this nudge counterclockwise, and then push out the cartridge on the opposite side of the grip. These are the realistic metal shells that is included when you purchase this gun. But if you're planning to use this pistol in the field for a pistol war, I suggest you purchase extra shells for it. However, what I highly recommend for you to use in a pistol war is this. I'll be creating a separate video for this in the future. There are multiple ways to put a BB into the shell. First is the traditional way. You just need to put one BB on top of the shell and then gently push it in. Easier way is by using a speed loader. But of course, the fastest and the easiest way is by using two speed loaders. The included shells has markings that says Wingun 700, which is also compatible with shells from Dan Wesson. There are two ways to load this gun. The first is the traditional way, which is one bullet at a time. And of course, the easiest way is with the use of a speed loader. You just need to align the shells into the cylinder and then give it a little push. Remove the speed loader. Close the cylinder and you're locked and loaded. Now let's do a chrono test and measure the FPS of this baby. We will be using a 0.2 gram BB. Let's do the first shot. 533 feet per second 520 feet per second 510 feet per second 523 feet per second 514 feet per second 529 feet per second 545 feet per second 528 feet per second 527 feet per second 525 feet per second 449 feet per second 523 feet per second now we are going to do a range test. This is a 5 meter distance. The first three shots will be on double action. single action mode for the last three shots. Now let's take a closer look. Pretty bad shots, huh? Well, let's not blame the pistol here. These are on me. I don't really shoot that well. Well, that's all pretty much about it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe 
and as always, peace out.